Kai is now an MR and she can cancel and she can tap and what can she do? Welcome to Force News on Jordan Baker's channel. This is Jordan Baker, your host for the latest, well, of your news. This is a new series that I'm starting up uh, to cover the latest Force of your news and, well, give my two cents on it. So, if you guys are interested in this video and like to see more, link is in the description on a playlist that I have a multitude of videos that I have covered about the latest Hero Cluster news. So, after you watch this video, go watch more. So, let's go see the height. So, now this height is a light reusable destruction and cancel ability. What does she do? First, she is a two cost light resonator. Uh, one light, one neutral to be a light, like any, any color will be exact. She is quick cut. She has a very tempting, very good effect. Enter, recover all entities you control with seal counters on them, and tap or rest all entity your opponent control with seal counter on them. Both all those seal counter from other entities do this card. Uh, it, why is this good? You may ask. First, entities means that non magic stones, uh, it doesn't say non magic stones, it just says entities. So you can put seal counters on your opponent's magic stones, you can put seal counters on your own magic stones. And when this one comes in, boom, everything is untapped. Boom, everything is, well, what do you call that? Tapped. This is good. You, you might be thinking, but how do we put the counters on them? She has, in fact, you pay one light, reveal this card from your hand, put a seal counter on target entity, which is crazy. So, in a way, you can keep stockpiling the seal counters on your stone every turn. Then, when you cast her, hide when you summon her, you untap all the stones, so you kind of recover the mana that you, the wheel, the mana that you use to pay for her in the first place. Then, that's not all. You can tap your opponent's stones, which is great. But it hide herself has a very powerful effect on the field. Remove a seal counter from this card. Choose one of the effect. Destroy target rested non magic stone entity, which is like great in its own right. You can just keep popping. And cancel target activated ability, which is crazy. Effectively, this is like uh, one cost. Uh, you pay one light to destroy target rested or cancel target activated ability. What do I mean by pay one cost? If you have two height, okay, two height, one on the field and one in your hand, you can use the hand copy to keep putting seal counter on the one on the field for her to have ammo to cancel abilities. This card is insane. If you're gonna play a light control deck, I recommend you to get at least four copies of this. Keep it. And even if you are not planning to play a light control deck, get four copies. This, this card is insane. This card is great. This card is like wow. So yeah, this is a very powerful Emma. I see the power creep. I really like this card. This is awesome. And of course, you can play this with this card from Revolve of Legend. It's a uh, Emma that we always overlook. It has a effect where quick cards put a counter with a name of your choice. So you can say seal counter. Uh, on a ruler or entity you control, remove this card from the game. Uh, so technically you can cast it and put a seal counter on only entity you control, but um, better than nothing, I guess. And yes, you may play this card from your remove area, other generator you gain uh, plus two plus four, basically Magna himself is just a buff. Uh, whether you want to play it, up to you honestly. It's not really the great of a card, but it is an option. And next we have car girls staring at. Uh, it doesn't even make grammatical sense. Girls staring at. Like, what is the girl thing that she's staring at? Anyway, this is a uh, country that is named. It's a two cost light that has an awesome effect. Uh, it's, it's quick cast. Okay, that's one of the awesome part of the card. It is quick cast. No magic stone entities your opponent control lose all ability. This includes swiftness, so this helps you like blank your opponent so that they cannot continue to try to kill you that turn or wombo combo or lock you down that turn. Okay? So if you are fighting cards like Exorcist when you are playing a token based deck or uh, whatnot, uh, you are fighting against kind of academic guard, this stops it. So this is really good and it replenishes itself because it has an effect to draw a card, so you don't minus resources in that attempt. 
this is very cut. It only costs two wheels and your hand size remains the same. Speaking of hand size, this card has ability when it is put into the graveyard from your hand by an effect your opponent control or is put into the graveyard from your deck. Put a 4 4 light fairy resonator token with flying it into the field. So the thing is, this means that it's signaling to us that this set that should be cards that would discard your opponent's card. Uh, yes, it hasn't been revealed yet, but this is just theory that I'm, I'm having at the moment. So that might be a discard deck card. So do with that information how you were in the break. And that's it for this video. Uh, hype is insane. Get for hype. That's pretty much what I can say for this. And yes, if you are interested in more Force of You news or you just like me speaking, uh, the link is in the description of a playlist of all the latest Force of You news. And that's pretty much all from me, Joe the Bacon, signing out. See you guys in the next one. Bye.